Miss Katie, and welcome to class 113 here at Virtual UPK. I'm so excited to see you today. All right, friends, you know how we like to start our day. That's right. If you need to pause the video now and wash your hands, you may do so. All clean? This week for writing friends, I would like you to choose what you are going to write. And for today, I would like you to choose your favorite letter to write. Any letter that you would like, or maybe a few letters. You can use smiley paper or any paper that you have at home. And I'd really like it if you could use crayons or a pen. All right, friends, if you want to pause the video now and work on writing your favorite letter with your grown-up, you may do so now. All right. Let's head on over to the calendar and find out what today is. We are still in the month of... Do you remember what month we are in? That's right.
Uh, always pause and finish the weather with your grown-up. Or we can head right on over to our question of the day. And our question of the day is, what does it mean to play fair? Huh. Have you ever heard someone say, that's not fair or that's unfair? Yeah. It means that they don't feel like they got the same treatment or that they got the same thing. Like, if your brother got all of the Oreo cookies, you'd say, that's not fair, right? Because we all know that we should share. But there are different ways to share when we play with our friends. So, if you want to pause the video now, you can talk to your grown-up about what it means to play fair with your friends. Did you come up with some good ideas? I'm sure you did. All right, friends, let's look at one of our picture talks. And take a good look at our picture here. This um, is a picture of a store center. If you come to a Learn As You Grow building, you may have played with a cash register before or pretended that you were at a store. And these friends, their names are Tim and Kara. And they both want to play store. And both children want to play with the toy cash register. Well, let's think about Kara and Tim and what they can do. Hmm. Do you think maybe they could take turns with the cash register? One could use it and then the other friends could use it? Or do you think that they could trade? Like one friend could use the cash register and one friend could use the shopping cart and then they could trade the toys? Or maybe they could play together. Like one friend could be the cashier and one friend could be the customer, the person buying the food. Yeah, I think those are really great ideas. Mm -hmm. It is fair for Kara to keep, it's not fair for Kara to keep Tim from playing with the cash register, right? She should definitely give him a turn. Because think about how Tim would feel if he didn't have a turn to play at the store. Yeah, he would feel maybe a little sad. He might feel a little angry. And the toys, they belong to everybody at school. So we should definitely all get a chance to play with them. So my good friend Tim, he asked Kara if he can join in. He says, we can play together with the cash register. And that is one of the fair ways to play together is playing together at the same time. And Kara really likes this idea. And she really has a good time playing store with Tim. And they get to pretend that they are working at the store together. So that's a really fun way to play fair. So friends, we'll talk a little more about playing fair and we'll remember all of those rules about sharing. But first, we had a little mini story. I think we need a stretch break. What do you think? Yeah, me too. All right, everybody stand up. Take one step away from your computer and here we go. I can stretch. I can bend, I can wave to a friend, hi friends, I can jump so high, I can, oops, <laughs> I can crouch so low, I can tap the floor with my toe, I cross my arms, Friends. If 
you want, you can always go back and do those super stretches again. If you're ready to go on, you can head on over to our story about sharing. I'll see you there. All right, friends. Great job. For our first activity today, you're going to take your, whoops, that is the wrong one. Here we go. You'll take your white construction paper and you'll need some crayons or maybe some other art supplies if you want. And you're going to fold your paper right in half. Huh. Now what are we going to do? Well, you are going to share this paper with someone else. So you can decide what half of the picture you'd like to draw. And then with your grown-up or even with a brother or a sister, or grandma or grandpa, you can have them draw the other half. So you can tell them what you're going to draw. You could say, I'm going to draw half of a butterfly. And you can draw your half and then flip it over and your grown-up can draw their half. And then you can open it up and see the two beautiful halves together. Or maybe you don't want to tell them exactly what it is. Maybe you like to be a little bit silly and you can just tell them, I am drawing half of an animal. And if you draw your half of the animal, then they can draw their half of the animal. And you can see what happens. <laughs> but no matter what, you're working together and making a beautiful piece of art. So. If you'd like to pause the video now and work on your shared drawing with your grown-up or your sibling, you may do so now. All right, friends. I'm excited to see your drawings. And I will also be working on that with my daughter, and I'll make sure to post it on our Facebook page. So make sure that you post yours on our Facebook page as well. All right, here is another um, worksheet that we can work on. So this is more for your home, for you to color and design this sign. I have one just like it at UPK, and you'll see them in our classrooms if you come to a Learn As You Grow building. And it just reminds us of all the ways that we can play fair with others. So this says play together, take turns, or trade. And you can cut these apart and hang them up, or you can leave them all one poster and hang them up somewhere where you'll remember the ways to play fair. So if you want to pause the video now, you can work on this with your grown up. Great job, friends. Where are you going to keep your Ways to Play Fair poster? Maybe you're not sure yet, and that's okay. But I hope that you'll remember that there are lots of ways for us to be kind, to share, and to play together. So, until next time, I'll see you soon, friends.